Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 8th episode of Isekai Quartet. Now, last episode, what happened? Well, we have Beatrice getting to be good friends with Mane, also does not know Mane is a boy, thinks Mane is a girl. Which, I mean, I hope she finds out the truth at some point, because that could be a little bit amusing. We also have Subaru, no, uh, yeah, Subaru doing his best in the animal care thing, getting eaten by... Ham Hamusuke, not good for him at all, but he's getting along well with Ara, so they're making friends over there. Last episode was really just a good example of seeing people go outside of their normal uh, friend circle, their own anime, to become friends with other people, so it's all great to see. Especially with Amelia trying to be a good class rep, you know, really get the most of this school life, you know. Uh, I think that's everything I really wanted to say, uh, <clears throat> except... They did say that this episode would be a beach episode, which is something to look forward to. However, I still want to get Ram in a nurse uniform. Like, I just, uh, just show, make make this a reality, please. See this? This is Ram in a nurse uniform. Uh, she's got the, the hat and everything. Just give me this in the show. It's not that hard. If they can put it on a figure, you can put it in a chibi anime. So just hurry up and do that, please. Okay, now that's all I really wanted to say on it. So let's just uh, get into it. Three, two, one, play. Already bringing it up. Oh. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say nobody. This is a very unique class with a lot of unique individuals. Akko would disagree with him just because he said it, so... Of course, you know, my excitement for a beach episode is kind of limited in a chibi anime because there's not a lot for me there, but because I do like so, so many of the characters so much, that might balance out a bit my excitement level. Because there are plenty of characters here that I do want to see in a swimsuit. So even if the chibiness diminishes it a bit, it's still something I want to see. If that makes sense. And no, Ions is not one of the people I want to see in a swimsuit. I was thinking more like Aqua, Megumin, Drem, uh, Shaltier, Albedo, Amelia. Maybe Tanya, because that could be kind of funny. I bet Megumin would have a cool swimsuit. <laughs> Prepa <coughs> prepare field trip. So we might, not actually, might, not, might not actually get to this episode. This might just be prepping for the next episode. And yeah, I saw that coming. <laughs> uh, of course, she takes issue with this. <laughs> yeah, it's not like Amelia's idea. Let's not really forget that. You better not bully Amelia, I would be really mad at you, Aqua. When you go on a trip with each other to somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you can't say no to that. <laughs> well, that changed your mind pretty quickly. <laughs> Damn. That would be nice. Oh, that got on Beto's attention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you are. <laughs> well, that's a problem. <laughs> we might need some nurse on nurse action there. <laughs> Only one person could participate in that explosion. some courage perhaps <laughs> okay <laughs> all better let's, let's settle down guys <laughs> it's fine
Good ideas in this class. There you go. And that's really the only thing to be done at night. I, okay, sure. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I didn't think about that. <laughs> this class is a test of courage. That is great. Maybe the funniest thing Subaru said in the show. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was very Ram like. I mean, they might become friends. <laughs> of course you do. I don't think <laughs> I don't think I don't think there's a anyone has a problem with this. Very productive homeroom. Oh yeah, Megami did a good job on the, inter on the intercom last episode. Forgot to mention that. Yeah. Wow. Amelia. Uh, I mean, I don't blame her for not knowing that, but... Oh. Oh, Ty Tanya's going swimsuit shopping. <laughs> I mean, you don't have that much to reveal, let's be honest. I don't know why they'd say that. <laughs> yes, it is. That's the real test of courage. Oh, I'll bet oh, I hear her voice. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it does look like Ayn's a style, his color scheme. And uh, Alberto and Shell. Oh! Wow. <laughs> I never thought I'd see Shell, Tier, and Alberto go swimsuit shopping together. Some people. I like some of those swimsuits back there, the black one. A lot of people. <laughs> wow. So mean aqua. <laughs> uh, oh. Well then, this is awkward. Uh, I don't want to get aqua to see these people. We got to have a fight here. Friends, harem, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, let's not fight. All need to be friends. <laughs> Amelia knows best. <laughs> that face. <laughs> uh, yeah. Seems to be going well so far. <laughs> That's always the case. Well, I do. I do. What? Oh, 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 yeah, that was in the his show. Oh, wow. Okay, and she doesn't do quite do what. Uh, uh, wow. She's not gonna give you dreams, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. This. <laughs> I never imagined this. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it took me a second to realize what he was reacting to. <laughs> oh. Is that she's a pure maiden despite being a succubus? That must be what she's totally telling him. Yeah, I think that's what she said. <laughs> Now are you talking about me over there? <laughs> See exactly. That's of course what we're just discussing. Oh, Shaltier, you may need to watch out. Man, I think this is by far the most screen time Shaltier's had in this show. <laughs> it's a little bit funny. 
Did not surprise him for anime. Yeah, it's not her fault Irons hasn't put it in, but... Okay, wasn't expecting that from Aqua. What's your angle here, Aqua? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with what she's saying, but it's Aqua saying it. Too but then dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, she's not even here. We're throwing shade at her. <laughs> yeah, that's unforgivable. Uh, yes, I know who you were talking about. <laughs> Poor Eris. Why can't she be here too? <laughs> not that funny. Oh yeah, I think Shelter does that too. I forgot. Took me took me way longer than I should have to. To realize this is such a mess. Oh god. <laughs> oh damn. I forgot because that was barely mentioned in, in Overlord that she does that. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't she didn't know about that. I barely knew about that. <laughs> Much less eventful over here. Ooh. I would, I would love to see her wear that. Oh, please wear that, Sonya. I, I need that in my life. <laughs> yeah, that may have been the best thing in the whole show. That just might have been. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna just I think that may that I, I keep thinking about it. That probably was the best scene. Although, I think the best line was still the best line of the episode was still Subaru saying that that class is a test of courage. <laughs> that was great. I think that made my favorite line of the whole show, really, but definitely of the episode. <laughs> I do I do wish I had remembered Shaltier pads or bra sooner than I did because it would have been even better of a scene. But oh well. Yeah, next episode will be the beach episode. Oh well. My hopes have been a little bit dashed because I thought it would be this episode, but it's okay. As long as we get there. I, I'm i okay with it because I really liked some of what we did get in this episode. But anyway, that was the eighth episode of Isekai Quartet. And the first half, everyone was kind of discussing what to do for the field trip. And, uh, you know, the Amelia and Ainz are up front talking about it. I mean, Shaltier's up front too. I don't think she said much in the scene. But uh, Aqua was the only one that really offered any kind of disagreement with the plan. But then once it was revealed that Amelia is kind of the real one behind it and kind of pushed forward a bit, Aqua backed back down. And Aqua kind of was the main character of this episode, really. If you think about it, she, she kind of made a lot of things happen. Uh, yeah, we got a nice little low nosebleed from Albedo, thinking about some uh, possible events. And we needed a nurse, and then Rem stood up. Still not wearing the nurse outfit, though, but once again reminding the audience that she is a nurse, so... She keep teasing about that Nurse Rem thing and never actually giving us Nurse Rem. It's starting to be upsetting. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Sheltier also got the nosebleed, so we're down to our last nurse. I mean, what do you do when the nurse is bleeding? You use the other nurse, basically. <laughs> but gotta love Albedo and uh, Sheltier both squirting out their fluids at the same time. Something that I can get behind, personally. But yeah, fishing, beach flags, volleyball, watermelon splitting, BBQ, all sorts of great ideas. And then Megami with her explosion magic tournament, which is a kind of a flawed idea because only she can use explosion magic. And then, uh, of course, uh, Darkness's idea of test of endurance, I mean, I could get behind that. We do have a lot of powerful people in this class, so that could work. That's a better idea. 
Like, that's an infinitely better idea than Mega Means. Which I don't want to say, because Mega Means is my favorite Konosuba girl, but I think I think Darkness just had a better idea. You know, if I'm looking at it objectively. We'll need to do something at night. That was that was such, that was such a bad way to phrase it. With Shelter, with all that are right there. And of course, Darkness like that too. Yeah, that's when Subaru mentioned the, this class is a test of courage thing, when that was brought up. And yeah, Mega Man actually starting to take take after Ram a little bit with abusing poor Subaru, which is a little bit unexpected, but funny nonetheless, because that could be another friendship, you know, Mega Man and Ram. I mean, the, the more friendships, the better, really. And Amelia being okay with a test of courage, despite not knowing what a test of courage is, so... That's a little bit funny, but I'm sure we explained it to her just fine. It's not like it's a, it's not like it's a difficult, uh, complicated concept. You basically just go somewhere scary, usually with somebody. You know, usually you pick like lots, choose who you go with, and then you walk, go to somewhere, and then you get scared along the way. You know, pretty simple. Yeah, that's when we got to the uh, the swimsuit store, and we started off with Tanya and uh, Victoria. They, I mean. <laughs> They really, I really thought they would be the main part of this whole swimsuit shopping thing, but no, we actually transitioned away from them to a different group pretty quickly. That group, of course, being Shaltier and Albedo. And the second I saw them here, I knew this was going to be a fun scene, and I was not disappointed. And of course, they're shopping for a swimsuit for Ainz, not themselves, which is a little bit disappointing, I guess, but it's, again, not surprising. They both have their ideas. I'm kind of surprised the shop even has swimsuits like that that look like they were made literally, literally made for irons. But I guess that's how it goes sometimes. And Aqua throwing shade at Cosma as they walk to go get some swimsuits, and that's when our group started to butt heads, and the scene got really rolling. <laughs> you know, the first funny, really funny bit of this was when Cosma, well, Cosma's trying to get everyone to get along right. You know, and they mentioned somebody mentions them being a succubus and vampire, and <laughs> the succubus part got Cosmo's attention. You know, uh, and after a few seconds, it clicked in my head that he does have some experience with succubus succubi, uh, because if you remember, the Konosuma world had a special shop full of succubus succubuses that they basically give the adventurers pleasant dreams in exchange for their vitality or whatever, and uh, Cosmo. Try to use that service didn't go super well, really, because of various things. But the point is, he he now associates Succubus with that. So uh, he was kind of hoping maybe Balbetto could do that for him. And I know, I think she would not do that for some random guy. I think that's only, I'm pretty sure she's like Ainz's uh, personal Succubus. So I don't think that's a thing that's going to happen, but... It was quite funny. Anytime the show does that, I really love it. When when a show has some sort of like concept in it, like Succubus, that another show has, and then that character tries to, you know, tries to, well, how, how do I want to phrase this? You know, tries to take that thing and then like frame it in his own understanding of the concept. You know, I love I love when they're able to do that. Uh, I can't think of a lot of examples of the show doing that off the, top, off the top of my head, but I think there's been at least one or two examples of something like that, where there was a little bit of a crossover in that regard. But anyway, uh, that's when Shaltier kind of revealed that, uh, you know, Albedo's a, a pure, innocent maiden, you know, that can't ride the, 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 one, the one demon horse or whatever. So, yeah, that's kind of important to know. And then Albedo started blushing a lot when she found out about that, which was cute. And then Aqua very surprisingly jumped up to defend Albedo and all that. That really did. That was the most surprising thing about, about the entire episode. Like, there was plenty of things I saw coming, but that was by far the most surprising. She decided to talk about how there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's all good. But what you should be ashamed of is if you pad your bra. Because only literal scum do that. <laughs> and all that. And uh, this was funny because I, I mean I knew she was casting shade at Eris immediately. But uh, once... Once, you know, you realize that this also applies to Shaltier, that it became a lot funnier. So we basically went from throwing shade at Albedo to throwing shade at Shaltier. And uh, yeah, I think we may not be making as much progress as I might have hoped for in this whole friendship thing. Considering Aqua just seems to just... Aqua's not good at making friends, let's be honest. Well, I mean, I don't know. I guess she's she made friends with her like coworkers in Konosuba, I guess. But uh, I don't know. 
just she's she can she very easily can make you mad, you know, without even trying very hard. I guess that's kind of what I'm trying to say there. Like for example, what she did here. But uh, you know, it's it was a pretty fun swimsuit shopping adventure. Basically, that's kind of the gist of it. This was easily this was by far the most screen time shell tears gotten. I'm almost positive. I'll bet her literally having to hold Shelter back as she tries to attack Aqua. And then, yeah, we cut back over to Tanya for like a second to see what they're up to. You know, what a normal swimsuit shopping trip looks like. And that pink frilly one that uh, Victoria was wearing, was holding, I really do hope Tanya wears that because that's just, that would be hilarious. I, I, I don't think she would, but I hope, I hope she does. That was pretty much the episode. I thought it was great. The swimsuit bar especially was fantastic. And uh, although I am a little bit disappointed that we didn't get the beach episode, you know, but we will get it next episode, I am pretty sure. I'm not super sure anymore, but we got our swimsuits. That should be all the prep we need because we talked about what we do there. We got our swimsuits. That should be all the prep we need. So next episode should be the actual beach episode itself, you would, you would think. So I look forward to that. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.